As none of the kids say, I've become a flippy boy. I'm checking out the Z Flip 3 and tell you my thoughts about it. Now I have gone over foldable phones before and we looked at the Microsoft Surface Duo 1. I've actually been a flippy boy for a long time. My first phone was the StarTac Motorola flip phone. And, you know, I've been using the typical candy bar phones that you get with your modern smartphone. So let's check this one out. The Z Flip has a Snapdragon 888 processor, comes with eight gigabytes of RAM, 128 gigabytes of internal storage with no expandable storage. It has a screen that's AMOLED OLED. I think I said that right. And 120 hertz refresh rate. So it's a gorgeous screen. It has wireless charging, which I do not suggest using. And it has two rear 12 dual megapixel cameras and a 10 megapixel front camera. Now with the front cameras, you can use the little screen right here. I believe it's 1.9 inches to take photos. If you hit double hit, if you double hit, there we go. You can take little selfies like this as the selfie camera. Oh, it didn't show up. Sorry about that. And that's a cool little feature. I do like this little screen for notifications. Um, you know, it's a simple swipe right here to get the notifications. And if I had some, they would pop up. Now, why did I decide to use this phone? Well, I've been often disappointed in the cell phone market. I am tired of the simple candy bar shape. The phones used to be fun. They used to be really fun and you would upgrade to a new technology and some special different features. The flip phone was huge when I first got cell phones. Then the picture phone. Then, you know what, we had keyboards on our phones. And it was all these really cool things. My last phone before a smartphone was a, I believe it was either LG or Motorola, where it had a screen that tilted on two axes. And then it had a keyboard that you could type. So I wanted to check this out. And this is what I consider an actual flip phone. The other phone, the Surface Duo and the Z Fold, I consider them foldable tablets because of their size. And I'm not really looking for that for a foldable phone. I'm looking for something that truly does get smaller. And this does. It's half the size of my pocket. Yes, I'm a large person, but you know, it takes up less space. That's the whole point of a foldable phone is it takes less space. And I like foldable phones because it's, while it does have this screen right here, it's protecting the full screen right there. I don't typically break my screens, but I do get little scratches and I don't really like uh, screen protectors. So I think it's just an extra accessory. I'm like Neil deGrasse Tyson, like, if I can just, you know, play with my phone and keep it going, hey. Well, there's another classic cut that didn't really work. Can I go back and uh, reshoot some, a little piece of the video here? And, of course, the lighting has changed. It's not as bright as it was. I got the, you know, ring light on. So let's do this. The part that was cut is, I wanted to talk about right at the hinge here. Now that there's a glare and you can see all the fingerprints and the screen behind there, you can see this little divot right here. And it typically isn't a problem, especially when I'm you know, scrolling with my thumb. And that actually gives me a great marker of you know, where I should hit. But I do have some hit misses when I try, when I just like tap right there. And that's a little bit annoying. And this hinge, this is typically where people see like, you know, the glass kind of coming up has become a bigger problem now that these phones are a little bit older, but overall it doesn't really affect it. And, you know, looking at this, this is it's pretty flat, so I'm fine with that. I do like having the fingerprint sensor right here on the power button. And yes, I still say it's a power button and not a side button. The only issue is I like to use it with the other hand. I hold left-handed and I try to open, you know, with this finger. Well, since there is no real groove, I can't really feel it, and I miss often. And, you know, doing it this way, putting your fingerprint in, you know, sideways, it's a tough read. It's a tough read. Like, I got lucky this time, it did open. But, 
it's probably 50 50 if i'm gonna open it with the fingerprint sensor on the side right there now i did choose black because that was my only choice <laughs> um, i have the samsung galaxy s21 fe which i record on because the my actual camera is way too dark i need more lights and yeah i love actually the color the lavender because this came out with three colors the black the lavender and i think coral or something some other weird color and i would have preferred you know a different color just to stand out i really did get this phone because it stood out and yeah it's simple black simple black but the reason i chose this especially you know compared to the z flip 4 is the price i got for 300 dollars off of ebay and that is a really solid price now you might think why not the z flip 4 yes the price is pretty expensive on the z flip 4 but there isn't major differences in the hardware the z flip 4 has a somewhat faster processor and a little bit better screen ratio so it's basically the same thing. If you can find one in good condition like I did for about $300 on eBay, get that. Especially if you can get it in a different color. Now, I do so have a slight issue with the hinge. It is kind of tough to open. I'm someone who wants to flip it open like one finger and you know just pop my finger over here to open it. Yeah, I also have a tough time finding that home button and lining my finger up for it. But it's kind of like a stiff hinge and I understand why. Um, you, you know, you don't want it really to break like the original ones did. And this thing's got some heft to it. It's a, comparatively, it's a heavy phone. Um, it, you know, you feel like you could really hurt someone if you threw it, threw it. And it's basically because it has like all the technology right here. It does have some cool features that I have barely used, such as, you know, running programs up here. I'm not even sure I can get to do it right. I'll pull up one of the programs if it loads. So yeah, you can have the top screen and play. I know I've seen some people use, uh, you know, Game Boy emulator and play like that, but I, I haven't really added that feature in yet. Um, it's just something that I haven't had to need. So I, yeah, there we go. So, you know, I can claim my reward on Pokemon and I have controls down here, but I don't really typically use it like this. I like the longer read. I'm typically reading on my phone. So I like the longer view rather than the wider view. So that's a big plus for me. Now, there are some things that do upset me about the Z Flip 3 to 4. And something that upsets me about the phone industry in general is what's the upgrade path? Now, when this coming out, I like the big change back to, you know, flippable phones with the loss of LG. A lot of people are not trying new things and I want to see new things in the market. But the fact that there's so little difference between the Z Flip 3 and the Z Flip 4, it looks like it's going to kind of be like the iPhone and other you know smartphones where it's incremental changes. Yes, they're not bad changes for the most part. Yes, they are upgrades, but I want to see kind of that leap. I want to see what happens when there's a like this huge change that everyone has to get it and i just don't see that happening anytime soon so my suggestion would be unless the z flip 5 is something completely different right now i would buy i would wait for the used market and get if you want to try out the z flip get the z flip 3 off, off of ebay especially unlocked you know use it for any carrier and you know $300 for a phone like this is pretty, pretty good. So I highly recommend this. All right. Well, thanks for watching. If you liked it, please hit the like button. If you disliked it, hit the dislike button. Everyone leave comments, please. Um, please uh, subscribe, get notifications, and you've watched to the end. So I love you. You're great. Bye-bye, everyone.